five favorite Nintendo games. This is a, a good one. This is exciting for me. Uh, Nintendo is like a big part of my life still. It always has been. Even when the other systems came that were more advanced, I always just stuck with it. You know, there was like a certain, for me now, like I'm, I'm 38, so Nintendo is kind of like my safety blanket, you know what I mean? When I go back to it, it just makes me feel nostalgic and really good to play old school shit. So this is hard. So these aren't really in order here, but uh, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. A lot of people hate on that game because of the role playing elements, but I think it's cool. I think that's what makes it cool. And I remember playing that at my cousin's house for the first time before I got a Nintendo and being so jealous and wanting it so bad. And, uh, you know, obviously Castlevania has had some uh, effect on my lyrics and stuff. You know, what a horrible night to have a curse is pulled directly from that game, that, that sentence. And uh, the song itself is about what it would be like to exist in that world of Castlevania. So, you know, still loving it. I still love the series. I love what they do with it. But two is awesome. Uh, first Final Fantasy game, um, that was one of my first role-playing games ever, um, absolutely awesome, I beat it uh, a ton of different times. Um, still my favorite of the series now, I think they're too focused on cinematics and I just like how it was just uh, lots of grinding, lots of fighting, not so much heavy on the story, but uh, just lots of kicking ass, so it was a good game. Um, first Dragon Warrior, another. that. That had to be my first Nintendo role-playing game. And I remember I got it with an uh, issue of Nintendo Power. And um, yeah, that took over my life for a while, definitely in third grade, you know, it was a good time. But uh, still definitely stick with Dragon Quest ser series. They're awesome, awesome games. But um, I'm definitely for the more old school style of just having to grind your face off and spend hours and hours and hours, you know, building up experience and stuff. So highly recommended. Um, Crystalis is another one. This is a more underrated game, I would say. Um, it's a lot like the OG Zelda in terms of viewpoint. And um, so it's like a top down, you have your little guy with the sword. Uh, the graphics are pretty good for Nintendo, actually. It kind of came around near the end of it. But um, it's got role playing elements. It's got a lot of Zelda like elements, too. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend that for people that like, like all the uh, mana games and. Uh, follow like the Super Nintendo era of Zelda. Definitely check that out. Um, let's see. Um, Rad Racer is one I've been playing more recently. Pretty basic game to talk about. You're just driving a sports car, you know, recklessly. But um, I don't know, I love that game. It's just, uh, there's something calming about weaving through traffic like that. It's just <laughs> 